Now here in this video we are going to talk about how we can check the system performance into the Linux operating system. Into Windows we have the task manager which we can use to check for the what are the processing going on, which are the services running. But what if, if I want to check into the Linux operating system, which is very important to check the state of your system. So here for performing or we can say what are the tasks or what are the devices or the resources we are using into the Linux operating system which we have which we can monitor are your CPU, your memory, disk spaces, communication lines, your IO time that is your input output time, network time and your application programs we do have installed into the Linux operating system. These resources can be monitored where we can check for your state of this CPU like what the CPU is performing, how many processes it is performing, what is the ratio of the CPU has been utilized, which is this free space, whether the CPU is getting heated or not. So the whole state of the CPU can be checked. Along with that, we can also check for the system state CPU. So the system space says CPU will also check how many time we have spent for the system utilization from the CPU. So like system also has the most of the tasks which get performed into the backend. Now if I want to check which are the processes which your CPU is handling into background for the system, those particular percentage of usage of this particular CPU also we can get into the system state CPU process. Also we can check for the network input output and your time of your those particular network. So how many packets has come in, how many packets has gone out into the network and what are the timings of those particular resource consumption over the network we can also check over here. Next is your virtual memory performance. Now if suppose you already have your completely network configured into the system or you can see a virtual uh, memory you have assigned to your systems like your swap memory which we can call as those particular include, include you the swapping of the space. Now when we use this virtual memory is if suppose I have attached 2 GB of RAM into my system, but my system requires more RAM, I generally allocate some space into my hard disk so that this particular space can be used by my RAM when it is running out of space. Those space are called as the virtual memory. So the virtual memory we can see when your RAM has switched to this virtual memory and that is called as a swapping like we can use those particular virtual memory as a RAM and then later on we can release it for the hard disk usage. So those are called as a virtual memory. So how much of virtual memory we have used, whether it is in use or not, everything we can see into the virtual memory processes. Next we have that is application or program access. We can check for the programs or the applications whether it is running during we have started the operating system. Now most of the times it happens like you are running some program and post that when you restart the machine, you won't find this particular program or the service of the program is running. So if I want to keep it in continuous, you know, running state whenever my system is either restarted or in shutdown state, I can also check into this and then again I can reschedule it or I can make it work. So for that, we also have multiple tools so we can check for the performance of this particular resources. So those particular resources have multiple uh, tools which can even diagnose what exactly is happening into the, this particular resources and how we can utilize the rest amount of resources. For that the tools will be using that is your NICE. NICE is just basically a command which is inbuilt into all distros of your Linux operating system. So NICE you can check for the commands or the processes which are going on, what are the priorities they are getting. So you will be able to see it. As well as you can also modify this nice value or called as a priority of the task by giving the re-nice command. Same way we have net state. If I want to check or print what is the status of my network. So all the particular state is all the particular network protocols which are running in backend can also be checked by using the net state command. And then we have time. So time give you the resource timing of the devices which are using into the system. Then uptime, what is the average time your system is up. Then ps command, it will show you the processes which are running. So right now if I want to check what are the processes which are running, I can get the list of processes by giving the command called as ps. VM state, again we can get the virtual memory statics into it. Gproof command we can use if I want the 
uh, profile data or we can say a Linux performance data into a graphical portal or a graphical profile, we can give gproof. Then we have proof. So you can create a profile profiling or we can say a graphical profiling by using the proofs. Then we have top. Top command we can use so that we can also get the current running task and you know this particular top command will give you the live status of the different processes. Once you run the top, it doesn't get end. It directly will show you a display of all the processes running and the priorities of this process and the resources which you are using. So automatically you will see into the command rods itself or when you get the output itself, it will be changing its value as it shows you the live process and it changes as per you are going to use this particular command. So then we are going to see how we are going to use this Linux into the next video and how you are going to check for the performance or the device diagnostics by using the resource monitoring tool into the Linux.